Today we're going to demonstrate a basic drying startup on the Worldwide Electric GP variable frequency drive. We've unboxed our unit, have it sitting on the table. I will now initialize power. Now we have the unit powered up. The home screen says 0, 0.00. This is our frequency setting point. We must hit enter and you'll see the flashing zeros. We're going to use our left arrow key to put in 60 hertz for our maximum base speed or frequency that we're trying to achieve. Hit enter twice on this VFD to save all your parameters. Again, we must hit the enter button twice to save our parameters. Once we have our 60 hertz, we are going to mash the arrow up button and ACC will appear, and that is our acceleration time. That's how fast our motor is going to go from zero speed to the speed in which we want it to achieve. We hit enter, and this is factory defaulted at five seconds. For our illustration, we're gonna change the five seconds to 17 seconds. We simply do that by using our arrow keys, changing the one, and then going back to the five, and changing that to a seven. Again, hitting the enter key twice to save the parameters of 17 seconds. We enter up the arrow key up again. We will see DEC, which stands for deceleration time. That's how fast our motor is going to come down in speed. Hit enter to initialize into the parameter. Factory default on this unit is set at 10 seconds. For demonstration purposes, we're going to change this to 7 seconds. So we will use our arrow keys again. We will change the D cell to 7 seconds. And hitting the enter key twice, we will save the 7 seconds change. We will arrow up and we will see DRV. And DRV is our run command source. That's where we're going to get where we're going to operate or how the drive is going to see its run command. Factory default is one. That's from a terminal strip. It will actually be looking for a run command from a terminal strip. We're going to operate our drive from this keypad, the keypad on the drive today. So we're going to change it to a zero, which will utilize the keypad and on the drive itself. We hit enter twice to store the DRU parameters. We're going to arrow up to the FRQ, which is our frequency source. It's where we're getting our source for our frequency. We hit enter. Our default is zero using the keypad. We want to continue to use our keypad for this demonstration, but if we did want to use a potentiometer or a speed pot, we would simply change that to three you could please notice your operation instruction manual for those changes. For this demonstration, we're going to leave ours at zero using our keypad. We hit enter to store that parameter. Next, we're going to right arrow until we find the H group. It's F, and there's our H group. Our H group is our input motor data information. We're going to scroll up using our arrow up key to parameter H31. Enter allows us to go in there, and this is our motor poles. We are factory default at four, four pole, 1800 RPM. If we had a 3600 RPM motor, we would simply arrow down to two, two pole meaning 3600 RPM, or we could arrow up to six being a 1200 RPM motor, six pole 12. For our demonstration, our motor we're using today, we're going to use four pole 1800 RPM. Again, keeping the enter button to save our changes. We must arrow up again to H33. And that's where we input our motor full load amps. We hit enter. This drive is factory set at 1.8 full load amps. The motor in which we're using today, we're going to change to 0.6 amps. 
So you will see we'll use our arrow button down till we get to point 0.6. Hit enter twice to save our changes. And now our full load amps have been stored into the VFD. We will arrow over till we see 60 cycles or our home screen. Now the drive has been set up for a basic unit or basic keypad function. We have input in our where we're going to get our reference, our full load information, full load motor data information, the number of poles. So now we're able to hit the start button and the motor will accelerate over the time that we set in the previous parameters. Now we can hit the stop button and the motor now will decelerate per the parameters that we set earlier. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please call our tech support line 844-WWE-SERV or please visit us on the website at worldwideelectric.net.